Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can kill this, um, this egg. Uh, door's locked. Hello, Mr. Egg. I'm so ronery. Will you pray with me? Um, yes. Thanks. You can say no, and that, that, like, that's your one chance to, uh, to leave if you don't want to fight it right now. Uh, so we're fighting Shelly. Uh, it's a strange name for an egg, right? Uh, basically, the first thing you do, you don't want to waste any, uh, your, uh, FPs. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything until you attack it a bunch of times and break open the egg. And one more ought to do it. It's really, like, ugly, um... It's like an ugly egg, like those that like those red patterns on it. I feel like, like why can't they just make it like pink and round? It's so I don't know. It just it's ugly. It's ugly. Uh, hello, I'm Bruno. Okay. Um, like why couldn't they just copy the egg that was in the other one instead of making it like worse looking? <laughs> anyway, um, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've never had Bowser in this fight, so let's try Poison Gas. Maybe we can do some damage. Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, there's like a lit up, like that lit up area. Boy, that is a garbage fucking move. I was thinking maybe if that if it would do like 50 poison damage per turn or something, it'd maybe be worth it in the long run. But as usual, not. Um, let's try a super jump. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work very well on this guy. I mean, if I'm recalling correctly, this guy is kind of difficult to damage. Just like they're... Maybe just from the characters I usually use. Like, I wasn't able to find... If Assuming I'm remembering correctly, I remember, like, having nothing be super great against him. Boy, jeepers. Dee, ouch, you're hurting me. Now it's my turn. Get a lot of time. Big ol' egg. To the face and dead. Wow, that did more uh, HPs than I even have. All right. Actually, I don't know if you can block that shot. Um, wait, maybe you can. I don't know. I, I mean, I tried. Maybe I just never got good at the timing, so I just assume that it's not blockable. I mean, I don't fucking know. Thirty-five. Boy, that's not good either. Uh, so we tried Crusher. We tried Poison. I mean, why the fuck not? Let's try this one. Who knows? Maybe it'll work. Maybe, like, that's the weakness, and they just assume you'll never, like, think to do it. That was a miss, so does that mean I want to not try that again? Or, I don't know. Um. I mean. Should we try regular jump? I don't fucking know. And 33, and uh, still not super great. I mean. Let's try a Thunderbolt, I suppose. I'm kind of running out of uh, moves to fucking hit him with. Alright, so, uh... Let's have Bowser use a mid-mush, just so uh, Malo doesn't die. Hopefully he doesn't do that move again. Okay, it's fine, I got a freebie anyway. Boy, I even... I even waited on the timing, but the timing is, like, even, at, even longer than what I waited. Holy shit, okay. Alrighty. Um, so, basically... I mean, I almost don't even want to... I mean, I'll go ahead and use the maple syrup just so Mala can start healing. I got a freebie of that one, too. Jeepers. I don't know. It kind of seems like sometimes the game is too generous with the freebies. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It does come in handy, but, like, in a situation like this, it's like... Well, it kind of... What's the point of using it if you're just, like, pretty much... If you're just going to get it back, like, 80% of the time? I mean, it, I don't know. Sometimes it seems like... If, like, more than 50% of the time, I get a freebie. Alright, Super Flame. I mean, I don't fucking know. Was I just 100% correct? You know? Like, I haven't played this in a long time, so I'm just kind of going off of, like, memory that may or may not be correct. And, uh, yeah, it seems like I was right. This guy is difficult to damage. Maybe he doesn't have that much HP or something to kind of make up for it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I fucked up the timing on that one. Uh, if you can even, uh, uh block that one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cycle path. I want to see how much HPs this guy got. Since I can only do, uh, the, I'm pretty sure my last attack only did, um, I just love life. Wow, you're ready to make a fucking Plenty of Fish account. I'm on Plenty of Fish right now, and so it's like, man, I swear, I mean, 
I don't know, I'm a nice guy, but sometimes when I talk about stuff like this, it doesn't seem like it. Basically, like... I mean, I'm not saying my profile is perfect, but at least I try to put, like, some thought in it and try to make it not sound like everybody else's. Man, I swear to gosh, like, it's super fucking uncreative to just say, Oh, I just love living life. I'm like, what? Okay, so so you're not suicidal. Okay, got it. I, I, I gleaned a fact off of you, you know. It's not enough to make me interested, though. And you can have, like, a little headline that appears, like, right next to your name before they even click you or whatever. It, as they're just scrolling through faces. And man, I, I see a lot of them. Like, uh, I just love life, or, like, I love my life, and I just love living it, and then, you know. And there's a section where you can uh, list your interests, like, in list form. And, it, you know, they'll put, like, living life as an interest. They'll put, like, traveling, shopping, cooking, and, you know, enjoying a glass of wine, and living life, or whatever. I'm just like, dude, come on. Everybody... I don't know if it's just me or what, but it, I don't know if it's just in this area I live in. It seems like every, every girl and her fucking grandma likes to travel. I like to travel. I just like exploring new places. Oh, you traveling. And I'm just like, okay. It's like, so does that mean that because I'm a gamer and I like to stay indoors, does that mean I shouldn't even bother? Like, I don't know. I just don't want to be with someone who's going to be like nagging me to like go out and do stuff. Like, hey, let's go. Let's go on an adventure. Let's travel. It's like, we traveled last month, and it cost us $3,000. So maybe let's take it fucking easy, you know. Man, I am fucking going through my... Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, I mean, he can one-shot me. I mean, but it's worth a shot, and we got it. But let's try using the Power Blast. So again, it's like... I, like Hey, we got a freebie anyway, sweet. If we can do a little bit of damage now. Nope! Oh shit, that's probably gonna kill Mario. Uh, not quite. Man, okay, that's a little bit more damage, but holy shit, not really worth it. Yeah, but I just think that, like, like, each girl doesn't know that every other girl is also saying, like, the same thing most of the time, you know? A job. And it's like, are you just, like, trying to, like, pad your list by just putting... And then some people will put friends... You know, like, when you're putting your interest in list form, they'll put friends as one interest, and then family as another interest. I'm like, like, oh my gosh. Friend, you, you like friends and family? Oh, man. That's so unique. I don't know. And then people will put that um, in their profile. They're like, I just love spending time with friends and family. Friends and family, friends and family, friends and family. I did just... It's like, okay, so you're a normal human being. Okay, got it. Got it. But, like, but what's interesting about you? Like, I don't get it. Like, that's that's not helpful. It doesn't determine if I'm your type or not, you know? Oh, I'm never gonna let you go. You're just too cute. And vanish. So, yeah, so, uh, if any ladies are, um, watching this, please change your online dating account. Or don't change the account, but just change your wording, you know, even if you like to travel, just don't, I mean, you don't have to put everything you like in it, you know. It's like, well, and then you might be like, well, I do want to travel, so why would I not put something that's true in it? It's like, well, you know, like, ah, oh, damn it. It's like, well, not everything that you want is, a pro is good to put in your dating profile, you know. Like, that's like if a guy were to say, like, hey, I want sex after three dates, you know. I like it when girls give me sex after three dates, you know. It's like, well, I do want that, but maybe don't put that in the fucking, you know. And then not only that, but, like, you know, like, when you're, it's kind of, it's kind of a weird realization. Like, you, when you're going through all, like, the names and stuff and the faces and stuff, and you're just going, like, nope, not, not you, not you, not you, not you, nope, 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 nope. You realize, like, you're doing it to people, and then you gotta realize other people are doing that to you, too. And, like, you know, guys, sometimes, and when I say sometimes, I mean, like, pretty much every guy I met, I met isn't looking to just... You know, ba basically, my point, though, is that anytime a girl says she likes to travel, okay, okay, so she likes to spend money, 
is basically what that comes to, you know. And it's like, okay, well, you know, we all know who's gonna who's gonna end up paying for that, you know. So I mean, guy, that's the kind of stuff that you know guys are looking out for, especially this guy. <laughs> So anytime a girl says she likes to travel, I'm like, I'm not a millionaire, dude. I ain't paying for all that. I ain't paying for, you know, I don't know. Even if it's just like $300 or something, it's like, be like come on, it's only $300. It's like, yeah, but what are we going to do when something goes wrong on the car? You know, it's not a matter of if something's going to break on the car. It's a matter of when something's going to break on the car. And then it's like, well, then it'd be nice to have that $300 now, wouldn't it? But if we were, you know... If we were reckless with the spending and just fucking blew it, then we don't have it. But I don't know. I was I don't know. I just think it's better to like save money for when shit like that happens. Because again, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. King Nimmer says resting in bed. Absolutely. No running in the halls. Queen Valentina. We got a hall monitor here to enforce that shit or what? Mario, this could only mean that my mom and dad are here. Hey, wait a sec. It won't open, it's locked. Uh, excuse me. Well, why can't uh, why can't King Nimbus open it? He's on the inside of it, right? Leave it to me. Looks like it's up to me to get us out of yet another jam. Feast your eyes on this show of brains and brawn. Stop back. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. If my dad's really bedridden, we shouldn't make so much noise. We need another plan. Oh, we do, huh? I'm pretty sure busting open the fucking door was a pretty good plan. Uh, that was a display of uh, brains and brawn, uh, Bowser, actually. Uh, since we, I mean, I, I do like how they're addressing that. They're just like, well, we busted open doors earlier, so why can't we bust open this door? So they, just to make you not able to do it, they had to make like a plot point to just, or you know what I mean. Just be like, oh, we can't open it because of this reason. That's not a good reason at all. <laughs> I guess we should find Valentina and force the truth out of her. Right, right. Good luck with that. But what about the door? Oh my gosh. Listen, you. Never, ever talk back to the leader of the Koopa Troop like that. Ooh, I hate that. I'll ignore it this time, but don't let it happen again. Okay. Queen Valentina. I always thought this part was kind of funny. It's like, huh? Queen Valentina, like, <laughs> oh man, I don't know, there's something about that part, it's, I don't know, like, like, does he not care, is he disgruntled, is he, I'm pretty sure this guy he can sneak past, huh. aha, except did I want to do that, I probably should have saved, Queen Valentina, that Mario creature who beat up Smilex is here, oh yo, what does a Mario look like, I actually don't remember the voice I gave Valentina, well, it has a bushy mustache, long sideburns, and uh, a pair of mean-looking legs. Hmm, I have the feeling I've seen this Mario before. Wait, yes, it was that statue that Garo just delivered. Garo, the guy from uh, Breath of Fire 3? What the hell? But what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do, Valentina? Well, we certainly aren't going to listen to your pointless chatter. Frankly speaking, I'm not going to worry. Without this key, the king can't go anywhere. Ho, ho, ho. As I pad my face. Hush. I said shut up already! <laughs> I like that part, too, where like he's, he's like gentle at first. And then just blows up, like, blows the fuck up the second time. What the? Oh, that this is Valentina. Actually, I don't remember the voice, but oh well. What the? That isn't a statue. That's Mario! Valentina! Hand over the key, now! Is that the voice I gave Malo? Man, I don't remember any of these fucking voices I made. Heck! Oh, defeated by the stairs! Oh, the humanity! How utterly rude, and who in blazes are you anyway? Me? I'm the real prince, that's who. Brat. And how dare you listen in on a private conversation? 
private. Private! Everyone in a 10 mile radius could hear you. Why did you make a sad face when you did that? I don't fucking know. How rough. If you're going to be this rude, I'm simply going to leave. So long, chumps. Why did she say that in parentheses? Like, under her breath or something? She could have said that out loud. She's been rude enough out loud. Hey, hey, Valentina ran away. I shall fly the coop too. And... So, yep. Uh, I, I think we missed the boat here. I think. I might have read that wrong. So, we'd better get moving too. Come on, let's get him. Alright, hold on, buddy. Why don't you just walk into me? I'll handle these stairs. Aha! How many experience points do I get for uh, defeating the stairs? Alright, sweet. Save point. Hacha! Was I done uh, with my Plenty of Fish rant? Or da online dating rant? I don't know. I mean, I could go into more detail, but like, I don't want to sound too much like a dick, so we'll just leave it at what I said. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! You fucking asshole. Okay. Okay, uh, we'll just super jump, or ultra jump, I mean. Hopefully we can kill all three of them at once. Oh, man. I was just, uh, buying a few items at the store, uh, before the episode started, and I was like, man, I really don't have that many coins, and I'm just thinking, oh, man, I'm gonna need, uh, I'm gonna need some major coinage, uh, coming up, actually. For the, uh, for the next area where we got the next, uh, level of shit to buy. Oh, shit. Don't miss, dude! But, um, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, I did save some money by not buying all the shit for all the people. Wait, did I? Or didn't I? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I didn't buy, uh, better shit for, um, Peach and shit. I keep doing that. Oh, cause, it's cause I'm trying to go off to the side. Okay. Yeah. Fuck, I'm gonna have to end up fighting these guys as I jump around for this fucking block. Oh man, I kinda wish that Ultra Jump worked better on these bluebirds. By the way, where are the eyes on those things? Is that a little moving thing? Is that the eye? Wait, no, it can't be. Well, like, I sort of thought that, um... Because of how, like, shiny they look. See, they got, like, a shiny mark on their forehead. I always sort of thought that, um... Thunderbolt, and maybe that'll work. That, um... Hold on. Ten? Oh, fucking garbage. Uh, I sort of thought... Like, I wasn't ever sure, but, like, one of the ideas I had was that, like, the little wiggly things that's inside their mouth is their actual eyes, and they're just, like, wearing, like, a costume. So, I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but... Yeah, I was gonna say, hopefully that doesn't land on... Who is it? Who's almost dead? Malo? Malo has, what, 48 hit points, if I remember right? Blizzard, hopefully that doesn't do too much. Wasn't, okay, that wasn't too much, sweet. Alright, drop a heal. I want to know what it is about hopping out of your pants that makes your magic activate. Sir, it's very important that I learn this fact. Oh man, I guess we'll never find out, since they're never gonna make Super Mario RPG 2. That could be like the, like the fucking thing that they, like a story plot or something. I mean, it'd be fucking shitty to do, but just to be like, hey, this is how my magic works, here's a backstory on it. That's a short star, that's all it's for. Oh man. And we fall, by the way. We fall again, see the treasures in case we missed them. Do a peace sign, fall through the other thing. Hot springs are up ahead, but only royalty can bathe there. And you don't look so royal. Man, you don't look so royal either. You know, you look like a fucking... Like a valet motherfucker, low life. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean that. If any of if any y'all are valet uh, parkers, no, it's fine. I worked at, I worked at Taco Bell for like 13 and a half years, so I'm not going to talk down on anyone for their job, obviously. Queen Valentina. Oh, wait, or was that a guy? Queen Valentina, is the king showing any improvement? And how is his wife, the old queen? Old Oh my gosh, don't let the queen find out you call her the old queen. Gee, burst. It'll be off with your head. And Tubby, er, Princess Malo, or Prince Malo, where is he hiding these days? 
wow. They even, like, named him Tubby with, like, a capital T. Like, that was, like, his actual name. <laughs> T Tubby. Nobody calls me Tubby. Ugh. Every time I think of Tubby, I always think of that uh, SpongeBob joke where Patrick says that. Pipe down, all of you. I had better things to do than listen to your half-wit opinions. That's kind of um, how I felt in the drive-thru when people would be like, oh, I just want to get some of these. These are those are pretty good, aren't you? Or aren't they? Or like, aren't you? <laughs> like, yes, I am delicious, so I've been told. Um, but yeah, sometimes people just do like extra talking in the drive-thru. And it's, I mean, sometimes it's fine, but then other times I'm just like, Okay, can you just can you just please order? I just I just want this order to be over with so I can get your get your money and and give you your food and get you out of my drive through please, you know? And look, while I've been wasting my time listening to your endless chatter, Mario has managed to find me. Dodo! Dodo! Ooh, that bird has a permanent brain cramp. Dodo, do you hear me? Get over here now, I need some help! Entertaining Mario. So move it! Come here now! What, is it so... I wonder if they like they weren't allowed to say fight Mario. <laughs> like, they, we can't say kill because it's a Nintendo Kid game or whatever. But we can't say fight either, even though we do do that. Hello, biddies. Dodo! Dodo! Come here this minute! Don't just sit there. Help me! Oh, man. Dems are some tickle biddies there. That's some uh, early boob physics. Oh shit! I was gonna pop. I was gonna like not fight and uh, okay. Uh, wow, we're gonna have to fight Dota with Malo. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. We might have to swap out a uh, party member if I can't win. Um, but we'll give it a shot in the next one, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, we'll have to see if Shocker works, and I'm gonna have to get good at. Uh, blocking that multi-strike so I can actually get a turn in since I'm, otherwise I'm going to have to heal every turn. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.